Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, today, verses 8 to 12. Let's see what the teaching of Jesus is. Also, I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Now, when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about what you should answer or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. All right, so pretty interesting teaching from Jesus here, right? You better confess him before men. He will confess you before the Father. He will give you eternity. But if you deny him before men, Jesus, you're crossing yourself off the list. You're saying, you know what, I... Jesus died for me, but I'm kind of indifferent to that. Oh, well, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah, then the, there is an outcome from that, is that you're not choosing for Jesus to be your advocate, your sacrifice uh, in place of your life. Now you will be having your trouble because you will stand before the judgment without the work of Jesus on your heart, without the forgiveness of Jesus for your sins. And that's a place none of us ever, ever, ever would dare to be. If we have at least one or two brain cells, we can rub together and think about that question. The other piece here that's quite interesting to me is especially about persecution. There are going to be times when we answer for our faith before kings and other authorities, before the police. I'm sure those times are, are coming right up. Guess what? Jesus says, don't be super nervous about this. When the, if you're walking with me and then when you, when you need the help, you'll be receiving it. We will, I, the Holy Spirit will show you what to say. So yes, we can relax. We can relax. If you're, if you're just waiting to go out for a court appearance to, to defend yourself for having done something as a person of faith, that doesn't mean you should be trembling and sweating and all nervous about it. Hey, the Holy Spirit's going to show you what to say. You're already committed to being truthful. You're already committed to, to upholding the kingdom of God. God will show you what to say. It's okay. It's not going to be uh, something to be worried about. So Let's uh, look to those times and look forward to what God is going to do instead of trembling and being nervous uh, because of what man can do. Let's wait and see what God can do. And right now, let us pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there are intense times coming. Help us to confess you before men. Help us to be true and to relax uh, enough to be able to receive from you the help of your Holy Spirit so that in the hour of testing, in the hour where we have to answer for our beliefs, that you will give us what we need. We don't need to worry about that. You'll show us just exactly what to say at that time. So, Lord, be our helper. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Lord, may the day come speedily when we see you face to face and this old world that's so corrupt is ended and we're in a different space. Speed your second coming, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey friend, let's, let's go fishing for hearts and souls out there because the Lord is coming soon and let's help others become ready. God's blessings be upon you.